Okay, y'all, true story. Cheetos. Hungry person. I try to get them the Cheetos. Them motherfuckers tell me they don't eat that. So if you hungry, you gonna eat whatever. So sorry, but you're not gonna get my money. That's one of the things that I hate. You hungry, you eat. Since I'm talking about the things that I hate, I hate it when DirecTV is in Sam's and asks me who the hell my cable company is. I just lie. I just lie and tell them direct TV and get the fuck on by my business. Another thing I hate. I hate it when the light turn red when it's my turn and the police buy that. I hate when I go to Walmart and look for a little line. And then when I get in the little line, the light come on because they need assistance. That shit pisses me the fuck off. I actually cannot stand when it's a white person on every corner begging for my money. And they done had all the opportunity in the world. Get you a fucking job. The fuck is I hate it when I let somebody over when I'm driving and they don't give me the wave. I be looking for their ass next time to get over because they ain't getting in front of me. I hate to see the fat girls in liberty ass clothes. You know damn well that ain't your size. Go to the store and get the right shit. I hate, absolutely hate, when a motherfucker come up to me asking for my money at the gas station and I'm damn near about to spend my last on gas. Get the fuck out. And I stand, you roguish ass, ATM stealing ass niggas. You know, y'all roguish. Y'all make us look bad. Can't stand when I'm in the restroom and I realize the toilet paper that ran out. That really pisses me off. I don't do drip dry. And for you sorry ass baby daddies, I really can't stand you motherfuckers. Why you can't take care of your child? You help make it. It is also some trifling ass baby mamas out there. Y'all get the money and go get some fake hand, fake nails and shit. And your baby looking like who did it and what for. Come on. And then you get the money for your baby and spend it on your nigga. The nigga's supposed to be spending money on you. What is your problem? Get your life. I also can't stand the hypocrites. I always want to tell somebody what to do and how to do it and they ain't never been through it. You know what? You piss me off with your dumb ass. And I stand all you fake motherfuckers who are always talking about being real. Come on now. You know you fake. Come on. While I'm thinking about it, I also hate it when a motherfucker always saying they want to kick somebody's ass and they can't fight worth a fuck. You done seen it. You done seen them get their ass taxed. You done seen it. But they always want to talk shit and get drug again. Damn shame. Quit talking shit. And you won't get your ass beat up. You know? It's plain and simple. I also can't stand when a motherfucker know they done got beat up in the fight, but they go to their friends and say, I beat her up. Bitch, you lied. You could tell us anything. But I know I ain't in the business buying dreams, so don't try to sell me that motherfucking dream. You got beat up, bitch. I cannot stand... When a bitch wears some shoes that's two sizes too small and her toes touching the ground. Them ain't yours. And white people. Just because you hang with a lot of black people don't mean you can say nigga. That's a good way to get your ass beat up real quick. Hey, just tell them how I feel Friday. Don't judge me. I'm just telling y'all what it is. I'm letting it out. <laughs> but you tell gators. I can't stand y'all. I know one of y'all gonna hit me. And when you do, I'm suing the draws off your ass. For you stinky people who come around me smelling like stinky earring backs, you need to take a bath. You know you stink. My friend, I'm gonna tell you you smell like an earring back. Don't get mad at me. This is constructive criticism. Get you some damn Clorox or something. Watch. I'm the definition of a real friend. I mean, I ain't gonna let nobody else talk about you, but if you don't bathe, I might talk about your ass. So get it right, boo, before you come around me. That's what I call being real. You know, if you can go to one of your homies and tell them, you know, that they foul, you know, that's what's up. I wish somebody do and I'm gonna make sure that my ass stay clean. So ain't nobody gotta do that shit for me. But in the event that I might be a little tart, let me know. I ain't gonna be mad at you. I'm just gonna go get my dove, go get my olive lay. And going on and wash it clean. 
I ain't gonna even be mad. That's what's up. Shit, I might even buy you a drink. If you get mad, if when your friend tell you you foul, that mean you knew you was funky from the beginning. Because the truth hurts. And if your breath stinks and I offer you a piece of gum and don't say nothing, just take it and chew it. It means something. It has me. If you ugly and you know you ugly, you better be beautiful on the inside. It ain't my fault and I can't say nothing about that. I'm sorry. I can't tell them how you feel Friday in full effect, baby. Tell me how you feel because I'm sure letting it out today. Bras that being the beauty supply, dressed from head to toe, and you got your baby in there with just a diaper on, with no shirt, no shoes, looking like Tarzan. Bitch, you wrong. You don't know who Tarzan is? Google his ass. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. That ain't right. Bitch, put your baby on some clothes.